Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at John Hunter Nemechek's 2021 Texas race win in the Truck Series, the Speedy Cash 220. Um, this was the June race, which happened right obviously during the kind of All-Star weekend uh, at Texas. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about it. Um, it's... It's a good thing. What's the word to say? It, let's pray that the X truck and Xfinity teams don't have to go to Texas twice, even if the Cup Series does, because what an awful racetrack. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and start with the inserts and kind of the stuff that comes with it. We have our race win card. John Hunter Nemechek, Speedy Cash 220 winner, Fort Worth, Texas, June 12th, 2021. Going to the back side of the card, time of the race, 1 hour and 55 minutes. Started first on the day, total of 147 laps within the race. He led 64 of them and won by 3.361 seconds. Um, doesn't say in here, usually they like to say it's like his ex-career win or something, so don't see it in there, but... Uh, yeah, it was at least his fourth or third or fourth of the year. Uh, there you can see the race win sticker there with the nice blue for the Camping World Truck Series. And then you can see uh, with our box here, we do have the Camping World artwork. Uh, we've got Camping World Truck Series up there, the race win sticker and race version down there at the bottom. 124 scale race truck. Uh, there you can see the render of the truck, KBM. Uh, you go into this side, we got one of 600 for the Texas win. And, uh, yeah, oops, that piece fell out. And so, yeah, that's our uh, our box art and that kind of stuff there. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a nice close look at the truck itself. All right, so on this truck here, you can see we do have our Goodyear Eagles with all the race detail around it. It is a matte black truck with Romco as a Romco equipment company. Okay, there we go. I was like, dot .com? They're missing a letter. Uh, so yes, yeah, Romco Equipment Company, and you can see it's the matte black with the yellow. Very nice colors, obviously, as a um, as a member from the Hawkeye State, black and yellow are good colors, but it is. It's a solid, I mean, it's a real solid paint scheme color-wise. It's got a lot of black, yellow, white, good combination of those colors. They really look pretty good, so uh, you can see our bright yellow, or not bright yellow, but pretty yellow. Number four there, you get the uh, three winner stickers up above. Uh, we've got John Hunter Nemechek, and then uh, down here you can see all the different sponsors. I mean, tons of sponsors. We got Rockland, Yanmar, uh, we got Stein, K Tech, Big State Concrete. Like, it's just absolutely insane how many sponsors have just taken over this truck. Go to the back, you got Romco Equipment Company, Tundra, Toyota, and the number four there. Also, you got a little sticker down there, which is kind of neat. Not sure what that is from, but it looks like it was probably something that just kind of got stuffed on the truck later in the day. Um, so. On the back here, you can see we got Toyota and then a bunch of that Romco equipment sponsors again. Oh, that's new. So something here on the back I just noticed. Uh, the Nemechek is uh, not on the black background, but the two silver pillars. That's something I have not seen before. So we do have the two silver pillows, pillars. You can also see we do have some sponsors there on the, on the little down post. Got Toyota. We got Romco on there. Uh, but there's none on this post, so no sponsors on that post. Kind of a weird little thing. Here on the right side, you can see a little bit of marking down here for the burnout. Uh, a little pink around the jack post there. Um, you know, we got Toyota, Rowdy, K uh, KBM over here. Got the red rim over here again, a little bit of brake dust. Oh, that's right, the din's in the door. Here we go. All right, so our din number is, oh, God, I can't even read it. 87. Den number is 87 in there. Uh, it's actually located down inside the door now. You can see on the windshield, we got the little uh, brackets there and then the little hinges on the side. Onto the nose, you can see we got Toyota Tundra, uh, the old school nose, of course. Romco equipment, matte black color, looks really solid here. Um, not really anything else there on the bottom. It's pretty darn clean. Uh, the truck was not a super heavily raced version. It is Texas, so they, they do tend to stay fairly clean, so... Uh, it is a pretty clean truck, but it's a cool paint scheme nonetheless, so it's kind of nice that they at least offered it as a, you know, as a paint scheme. But, uh, yeah, um, that's really all there is to show off on this die cast. It's a pretty, pretty good paint scheme, but it doesn't have a ton of race detail to it, unfortunately, so, uh, probably isn't on the top of my list from last year's trucks, but, uh, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this diecast review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. You can check this car out at rasdiecast.com. I'll try to link that in the description below. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, this has been Race Grace. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next diecast review.